what's going on guys beastly gamer here welcome to the channel today i want to talk to you guys about something that i have noticed i was playing my xbox one a couple days ago and i was having a fucking blast playing it i mean i'm serious not bullshitting i played tomb raider i played mortal kombat i jumped into the forza demos and then i looked through my, my list of games i've got like 29 full xbox one games and so i was like wow i got a lot of games here why do i never play them and so i sat on my xbox one I think this was Tuesday. I sat on the Xbox One for about three or four hours straight. And I played different games and I had a great time. I went back and played some Ori and the Blind Forest. And my wife was sitting next to me. Now we have one Xbox One and two PS4s. And she was sitting next to me. And I looked over at her while I was playing the game and I paused it. And I said, I always feel weird when I'm playing my Xbox One. And she was like, what do you mean? I said, it's like when I'm playing it. I'm cheating on the PS4 and I'm trying to get done playing as quickly as I can so I can go back to the PS4. And she said, yep, I feel the same way. She said the same thing. She said a game like Ori and the Blind Forest 1 that she loved. She just jumped off of it because she wanted to go back to the PlayStation 4. And I asked her, I said, is it because the PS4 has better games? And she was like, she doesn't think so. And I agree. I don't think that the games are better on PlayStation 4. Now exclusives, hey, that's tit for tat. I think Xbox One has some awesome exclusives and I think PS4 has some pretty decent ones so what was it what is it that makes us feel this way and so i told her whenever i'm playing my xbox one i feel like i'm playing a box that has a bunch of demos on it even though they're all full games i feel like there's a box with a bunch of demos that in my mind are not real games and she told me the exact same thing she said that's how she feels she feels like the games somehow are not real and she needs to go back to the real system which is a playstation 4 and so I've decided that I have a medical condition, and I'm going to name the medical condition right now. Subconscious fanboyism. That's what I believe this is. I believe that this is a subconscious mindset that people have for a video game system. The first part of solving a problem is admitting that you have one. And so I, I admit it. Um, anyway, subconscious fanboyism. That's what I think this is called. That's what I think it is. I'm more into the Sony ecosystem, right? I've been more into the Sony ecosystem, even in the last generation. I thought Sony PS3 was much better than Xbox One, even though the Xbox One had better hardware, you know, that, that cell processor destroyed the PS3's, uh, you know, software. It was so much harder for developers to make games, but I was really into the PlayStation ecosystem since PlayStation 1. And so Xbox came later, and I was like, PlayStation 2 versus Xbox? Get the hell out of here. Uh, and so I was always into the PlayStation ecosystem. And so I've decided that I'm going to try to combat this mindset. I told her. And so I told her that I'm going to try to combat this this disease that I have, this subconscious fanboyism by playing my Xbox One more. And I am. I've been playing it. I've been enjoying my Xbox One. And it's just unfortunate that that's what's been happening to me. And it's something that has been happening every time I play my Xbox One. It's like I... Uh, I look over see the PS4 just looking at me. I see like one tear just roll down the side of the PS4. That's how I feel. But it isn't right. And uh, I've been enjoying games on both consoles. But I wanted to let you guys know that that's what's been happening to me. I mean, a lot of my videos are mostly PS4. Because I play the PS4 more. Because The Last of Us is only on PS4. I play that probably the most. Uh, and Destiny, all my friends are playing on the PS4. So it's like I kind of put my Xbox One like to the side a little bit. Some of the games I bought on the Xbox One, I never even put them in yet. I never even played Assassin's Creed Unity. It's still, I still haven't even started that disc or the game ever. So it's like, I feel bad about it, and I want to let you guys know. Let me know, man. Is this something that happens to you? Do you have both PS4 and Xbox One? We're not going to talk about the Wii U because that's my YouTube box. It's back in my room. But if you have a PS4 and the Xbox One, does this happen to you? Do you find yourself playing one 80% and the other maybe 20% that's what has been going on with me and I want to let you guys know that just in case I got subscribers out there who are big Xbox fans I do have an Xbox one I've had it for a long time but I don't play it the way I should and so I'm going to combat that I want to at least put in a lot of effort to validate my Xbox one in my mind when the Xbox one first was released I had major issues with it I had major issues with the release with the plans for the system and that kind of left a bitter taste in my mouth and so it's like for me for a long time, I've been getting over that. Phil Spencer really helped me get over that and get over a majority of those negative feelings. It's like some of them are still there somewhere on some subconscious level because I look at the Xbox One and the PS4 and I still feel, I'm looking at them right now. I still feel like I did 
back when I was looking and looking at them side by side in the store, the store shelf. I look at the PS4 and I'm like, oh, this thing is so prestigious and beautiful. Xbox One DRM. I know it's not DRM anymore, but it's like subconsciously, my mind is like, that's what it's supposed to be. And I've been trying to get over it. And I am going to get over it. Because I solve problems. I don't let them solve me, goddammit. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever dealt with subconscious fanboyism. If you have, what system were you playing? i love to know in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for my channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe today. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.